Hey everybody, this is Ted Check, recovering reporter. Well, as Gomer Pyle used to say, surprise, surprise, surprise. You know, right after the presidential debate between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris, there was a hue and a cry about, uh, well, there was, there was, there were a lot of theories about that, that it had been rigged, that it was three against one, that uh, the ABC moderators were uh, all in for Kamala and they were only fact-checking Donald Trump. I've, I've heard they, they fact-checked him seven times, they fact-checked him five times. Now we have this right here from one of the moderators, Lindsay, Lindsay Doyle Davis. ABC's Lindsay Davis admits fact-checking of Trump was because CNN let his statements hang at first debate. So she's admitting it. She is admitting it. I mean, I guess she figures what's done is done, so... And she's, I guess she also feels, you know, job security. She's not going to get fired. So why not admit it? I, get, I, I don't know. I don't know what her reasoning is, but, um, you know, uh, here we go. Um, kind of, uh, it's, in a sense, good that she did this because now it sheds some light on things. It, it confirms the theories. So let's read a little bit here. ABC News anchor Lindsay Davis admitted in a post-debate interview that her fact-checking of former President Trump was influenced by the earlier CNN debate that went disastrously for President Biden. In an interview with the Los Angeles Times, Davis said she wanted to address concerns that Trump's statements could be allowed to hang there unchallenged by his opponent or the moderators, as they were when Trump and Biden debated on CNN in June. Um, and then, okay, so they're just describing that a little bit more. Uh, the Los Angeles Times gushed over Davis in the profile calling her a rising star who held Trump's feet to the fire. Ooh. In one viral moment, Davis sternly told Trump that, quote, there is no state in this country where it is legal to kill a baby after it's born, after Trump invoked former Governor Ralph Northam's, Virginia Governor Ralph Northam's remarks in 2019 suggesting a baby, a live baby, could be killed after being born following a discussion between the physician and the mother. And there were so, and there were many, many other uh, fact checkings that went on. So, uh, well, uh, all right, let's uh, just close this off here. While liberals celebrated the moment, one pro-life group demanded a correction from ABC News, saying Davis's comments were 100% inaccurate. And then, since the debate, both Muir and Davis have been slammed by critics for appearing biased towards Vice President Kamala Harris. The debate moderators fact-checked Trump five times, and like I said, I've read in other places seven times, and failed to correct Harris a single time on Tuesday evening. So back to what uh, Lindsey Davis is saying. Well, you know, geez, it wasn't fair because in the previous debate on another channel, CNN, Trump was allowed to, his statements were allowed to hang because he went, wasn't challenged by Biden or the moderators. First of all, that's on Biden. If Biden doesn't want to check his opponent on something that he believes is not true, that that's up to Biden. That is not up to anybody else. Okay, that's that's on Biden to do that. Um, and, and also, I remember a time when moderators would just moderate. Okay, they wouldn't fact check. Okay, they would just moderate. In other words, they would ask the question and they would give one uh you know one debater one one uh, opponent time to answer then they would give the other one time and they would enforce the rules you know of okay it's time for you to stop talking etc but they wouldn't push back they wouldn't challenge that's not that is not uh their role in all of this as a moderator um to 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 then uh you know advocate for one over another okay um that's not journalism that's not true journalism this is this crazy uh notion that has uh wormed its way into colleges and universities it's, it goes by its many names uh it's like hydra you you cut one head off and two more pop up uh it's advocacy journalism it's solidarity journalism it's activism journalism and it's all bunk it's it's all um it's all false journalism. It's not true journalism. It's junk journalism. And uh, because true journalism should be objective. So if the moderators wanted to, if the ABC moderators, Mawir and Lindsay Doyle Davis, if they wanted to uh, fact check, then they should have fact checked equally. They should have fact checked 
Kamala just so just as much as they fact check checked Trump or how about this how about don't fact check anybody at all and then you let the people decide see that's that's another thing that's uh, something that uh, I talk about in my book is the is the lack of whoop there it is it's the lack of critical thinking well it's not a lack of critical thinking on the part of the American people it's that the media is depriving people the ability to use their critical thinking. So the media is trying to tell people what to think and how to think, believing that, that the American people aren't smart enough to exercise their critical thinking. And that's just untrue. Uh, the American people are plenty smart and uh, can figure things out on their own. So if a candidate is going gonna, is gonna to say something um, you know, that might, uh, might impact them in a negative manner, then let them hang themselves, okay? Let them talk, and then the American people can figure it out for themselves, how they how they feel or, you know, how they, uh, you know, what their opinion is of a, of a particular candidate, okay? The candidate will show their true colors through their, their words and their actions. Um, there, there's no need for moderators to jump in. So, in my opinion, this was a disaster this this whole debate was a disaster, and like I said, you've got one of the uh, uh, one of the moderators admitting it. She is she is admitting what uh, many had suspected. She has confirmed that uh, the fact checking of Trump that that did happen that that he was fact checked, and and uh, Kamala was not, and that was done deliberately, um, you know, because of some like vendetta, uh, some kind of get back revenge because it didn't happen during the cnn debate and i guess they felt abc felt you know that they they needed to kind of even the score so to speak and you know it, it ended up uh just ruining their credibility their professionalism their standing within the uh the american landscape of uh media landscape um you know and uh, it wouldn't surprise me if if they started hemorrhaging viewers and readers it really wouldn't um why would somebody want to uh, to continue to you know uh, spend their time and their money on such a network? It's it's a disgrace. So there you have it. Um, I, I thought this was this was a very interesting piece. Uh, this this was in the New York Post, by the way, but the original interview was was in the L.A. Times. But as you read here, as I read, uh, the L.A. Times was oh my God, she's amazing. Lindsay Davis is amazing. Mm, not really. Not really. Not at all, in fact. Um, so anyway, let me know your thoughts, and I will talk to you later.